Welcome back, legends. I hope you're all fantastic. Today on 5 Minute Licks, I want to show you a Lynch-inspired tapping sequence, but I'm not talking about George Lynch. I'm talking about Steve Lynch from the band Autograph. And I was introduced to Autograph via Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, V-Rock. I'm sure a lot of people in my age bracket were introduced to that band and that entire style of music by playing video games. So to anybody who tells you, uh, you shouldn't play video games, stick to playing your guitar. No, absolutely play video games. Vice City uh, introduced me to a lot of great music. Nevertheless, Steve Lynch from Autograph had a pretty fantastic instructional VHS. My uh, kind of love of two-handed conjoined pentatonic tapping licks and muscle shirts probably traces its way back to Steve. Not only was he a fantastic player, but his VHS was probably one of the, I guess, more informative and well thought out instructional videos. You could tell that he was a great teacher and a great instructor as well. So that was probably uploaded on YouTube. You should go and check it out. And he's playing this really cool guitar and he shows off his rack, which is uh, pretty cool because I think he's using an old Chandler tube driver and running it into like crate combos. And there was this old crate ad in like guitar player magazines, which is like the ultimate 80s studio shot. I'll have to try and find one of those. So uh, yeah, Steve Lynch is pretty awesome. And this is a tapping lick that I stole directly from his VHS instructional video. Basically, you're in the key of A and you're doing the pentatonic scale shape one with your left hand. So basically start on the high E string at fret five and just hammer onto fret eight and you know, do the thing, this. <laughs> those notes. Now, the kind of genius thing about Steve's approach is you do that and with your right hand, you tap the notes from the next position up. So as an example, if we did the four strings I just outlined, we would be tapping fret 10 on the E, pulling off to fret five, hammering on to fret eight. Do the same thing on the B string, tap fret nine, and then hammer on five, seven with your left hand on the G string, and then it's back to fret 10. So you could start by just doing the right hand. So it's gonna be 10, 10, nine, 10, something like this. So that kind of sounds goofy at the moment, but when you combine it, you have this really cool tapped pentatonic idea. Something like that, as usual, a few clams on my end there. I like to take this lick and sequence it though. So we will go down three strings, we'll come back up one and do the remaining strings. Uh, in other words, this. And then we'll do the G string and the B string pattern again. So this is my favorite pattern, for the kind of Steve Lynch two-handed tapping style. Now, a few things to watch out for there because they're things that I'm not doing consistently. Uh, you kind of use your first finger on your fretting hand to mute the other string. So you don't want to like play on your fingertip. Well, I guess you kind of do want to play on your fingertip on the first string, but don't be afraid to just kind of let your first finger lay down across the other string. It's not a strict bar. You want contact with the string, but you don't want to be pushing it in. And then you can extend this through any kind of combo of pentatonic shapes, you know? You could take the notes from the shape that's the next shape up. So in this case, I'd be tapping 12, 13, 12, 12 on the E through D string. So we get this. You could connect other pentatonic shapes as well. Like you could take, uh, I guess, shape five and shape one, something like this. And kind of sky's the limit with that. Uh, Steve does a bunch of stuff where he used two fingers to tap. So you could play like shape one with your left hand and shape three with your right hand. Oh, I'm gonna butcher this so bad. Uh, this would be kind of the idea. <laughs> I 
I didn't think I'd get to that particular lick in this video. Anyway, that's the idea. Go and check out the Steve Lynch. I think it's called the Two-Handed Guitarist or something like that. And, you know, any excuse to listen to some autograph. All their songs pretty much sound the same. And when I was watching that VHS tape, I noticed nearly every guitar solo starts with a big whammy bar dive and the singer absolutely screaming, which... I guess is why we all love that particular era. Some people probably loathe it for that reason, but uh, thanks to, you know, the the flow of time, we can all just kind of look back and go, you know what, maybe two-handed tapping and muscle shirts and Aquanet weren't all that bad at all. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you have any specific questions, put them in the comments below or play all out with something resembling that Steve Lynch idea. Have a great day. Yeah.